anyone that you anyone are a fan are of, though, lyrically, lyrically you're like, you, they, you, they, they, you, they, you gravitated towards their music? Um, I like a couple guys in, in spurts. Troy Ave was a little closer to me because of, you know, Troy just even, like, you know, when I was leaving, he was like, yo, just... You know, you walk know, you to walk your car, you and just car make sure you're good. Sure you Cause people don't, people don't do that do all that. the time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The whole definition behind it is, I'm major without a deal. I don't have a major label deal. I sign myself. BSB Records. Shows that you know I'm doing a major. Anybody can do it too. You can do whatever you set your motherfucking mind to, but you just gotta work hard. birthday party and when I got to the shit, the shit was just stupid. I ain't no front. Ever since I came on tour in like September, the parties and the climates and everything just been different. Shit's shit just been packed. I remember doing parties and it was just so, so or whatever. But ever since the nigga went on tour, shit just started getting stupid. I knew that shit was gonna happen, but look how your boy put in the cup. You caught that? <laughs> you look, put that in the cup. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but it spilled it in the cup. So I do drink champagne. A lot. Wait, what? It ain't shit on the floor, really. That boy good. Troy. Troy. Has his, you know, he has his, uh, his, his ideas of how to approach the industry, and he's already been doing a phenomenal job himself. Never mind the paperwork, you know what I mean. I can't really, really speak for the deals, but personally, he's definitely hustle gang. You know, uh, that's something that I'm comfortable saying. In his own way, I think he has. Uh, uh, something that New York has been missing for quite some time, man. And, and he's not afraid to be a New York. I don't be having no plan of how I want to impact the game. I, I came in the game on some shit like, yo, we sell mad drugs, and nigga, I, I know I could rap. If we apply ourselves to something like this, it's all, it's all business, you know what I mean? This business is just like faking got less consequences if you got to deal with more snakes or whatever. But needless to say, I ain't think about impacting the game. Shit just been happening. Like, oh my, I ain't think I was gonna motivate niggas. I ain't set out to motivate niggas and all type of shit. It just so happened. Like, that's the role I take. You know, like I've been doing all my shit independent. We spend our own bread. We ain't got no backers and no big homies or, or no behind the scenes secret deal. So that shit motivate niggas because there's more niggas trying to get on than it is niggas that's on. Troy F. Uh huh. I like Troy. I like Troy. 
Oh, so it's official. Yeah, I like Troy. Okay. Yeah, I, it changed. It changed a so lot. Troy. Troy. Over over a short time period, I actually had a chance to speak to him. Mm -hmm. And when I started to hear him do things, it was him. Okay. Okay. I really. If you influence someone to do something and they develop a passion for it, you're supposed to be on it by it. When I hear things that don't like that, all about the all about the money, uh -huh. it made me go ooh. It's like I get money, but it's his. Uh huh. <laughs> Don't none of it sound like fifty uh -huh. on the joint, and that's when now I'm like, okay, I'm a fan. Hey, go to L shit. The same way the shit that started me rapping on some like I'm gonna just go out when I seen Fifty Cent start doing mixtapes on his own, and just niggas fuck with him and knowing him in the streets on his own. I'm like, oh, that shit crazy, nigga. You doing that on your own without no label or nothing? So that shit made me be like, yo, you could really do this shit. That's how niggas be in their mind. Like I remember niggas saying in my head, Michael Jordan's my favorite uh, ball player, nigga. If I see the nigga, I'm just a Mike. Fuck with you, nigga. That's it. Keep it moving. No, no, not much. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, you no, know, I remember saying that about Fit, and I did that, nigga. I fuck with you, nigga. And then that's it. Then there wasn't no more conversation. Like you keep it, keep it clean. And then if a nigga show you love after that, then you kick it more. But that's it. And so that shit, that shit, that shit, that shit let me know I'm impacting the game. But I don't know how I came to impact the game. I just came to do my thing, and I just so happen to motivate the streets, and I'm not gonna stop. That's a fact, though. That's stupid. They want some nut? It might be a fake, but <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. You gotta get on camera on the look. Come on, come on. Don't worry about it, girl. Hi. Hey. You good? I'm good. I have a freaking study in the world. Why morning. you hugging me, man? Fall, like you. Because I have. I'm not gonna say. Got the big old ass thing. and his man fall back to my head close. <laughs> It's crazy. Why are you leaving? I have to study in the morning. What that mean? Shit! I was I was supposed to leave like at eleven, and y'all got me here by that. You're an time. adult. You be all right. It's only one day. Don't worry about that. Don't even trip. The night ain't over. <laughs> Should been over for me like three hours ago. You take a Red Bull or something. Be good. Ladies. I've been drinking Hennessy in my bowl. Now we gonna drink champagne too. Don't carry on. This ain't the regular shit, this the good shit. I'm driving all alone. Can you see? You don't gotta drive alone. Y'all see this? Yeah, I hope it's all on camera. You ain't gotta drive alone. <laughs> It'll be alright. <laughs> don't worry about it. Just don't go too far. Let me do this interview real quick. All right. Okay. Alright. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> she bad, ain't she? Yeah.